Hello folks and welcome back to another lesson and this one is going out to Jared. So thanks very much indeed for your support over at Patreon there, Jared. Now, I must also bring your attention to this. This is the Carl Longbottom Fulvia. Carl is a uh, luthier based up in the north of England and this is his offset model and it's an absolute beauty. So you will be seeing a lot more of this and hearing from it too. So go and check out the uh, link in the description below so you can go and check out Carl's fine work. Now I'm gonna mix up the tones today. I'm going straight in to my Universal Audio Apollo. I'm not using an amp, I'm not using any pedals. Literally my guitar goes straight into the uh, front of the um, Apollo and then into my computer to record. And I think all of the Apollo range come with a free plugin and that's what I'm gonna be using. It's based on like a rat style distortion and uh, it just sounds great. So let's check that out. So my clean tone. <laughs> Super lovely and clean. And then with the raw plug-in, with these settings, you get this sound. Before we get started, you've just got to tune your E string down to D. Okay, so the first riff goes like this. So it's a six bar phrase and you just repeat the last two bars. Let's go through the chords first. It'll make more sense that way. So you're gonna do a D minor shape, okay? So you can either do that with two, three, and one, or I tend to go two, four, one, like that, okay? Doesn't matter, do whichever one you want. And you're gonna play all six strings. Not all at once. You're gonna play the low three and then pick out some stuff, okay? And that pattern kind of follows throughout. But chords first. So, D minor shape. Then take your second finger off that second fret and drop it down a few strings. So you're gonna hit the second fret on the A string and also get your thumb over the top so it mutes the E string, or the D as it now is. Okay? Also, because of the angle of your finger there, that D string should become muted as well. So you're gonna be mute, play, mute, play. Okay? Should sound like that. And muting them in that way means that it doesn't really matter too much about what's going on with your right hand, okay? Then you take all your fingers off and you move to this F chord, right? So it's three, three, zero, one, zero. Dave actually plays it with uh, his second and third fingers. And then he moves them to the A minor. But I tend to go with that. And then, so entirely up to you what, the way you want to finger that. And then you go around that section twice. Those are the chords. Then for the picking part, okay, so really make it come alive. So basically you're going to play, right, down, down. And then you're going to do an upstroke and pick out some individual notes while those low strings are ringing out. You could actually just go for the top string. I've tabbed. But it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're doing down, down, up, up, down, up. Somewhere around the top few notes, okay? Second finger moves. All your fingers come off on the last eighth note, okay? The four and. Gives you time to change to the F. Again, they all come off on that last eighth note for the A, right? Sounds a bit weird slow, but in context, it makes sense. So the whole thing ran slowly. Play along if you can. Two, three, four. And back. 
around. And there's an ever so subtle variation, I think the second time round where he plays. That's all the same. So rather than going to the high string, it goes like that, okay? Um, and then again, it goes. just before the drums come in. When the drums come in, a little bit more strummy. But essentially the same thing. And we're nearly there, we've got two more riffs. Then you play this. in again right so this sort of little turnaround is three three one zero it's actually b flat right but you'll actually hear live uh pat i think playing playing some little noodly stuff like that right but this will get you there so just play um eighth notes for one bar First finger stays where it is, and then you go to an A minor shape. Again, my thumb's over the top there, muting this low string. Then, flatten your first finger and slide up two frets, and then put either your second and uh, third, I think that's what I've seen Pat do, or you could do uh, just your um, third and fourth fingers there on the fifth fret on the low two, right? And it's basically a G chord. you play for two bars, right, of eighth notes. So the whole thing slowly would be two, three, four. Like that. One other tiny fill in the verse. Uh, when you go to the A minor, you're gonna do. You're gonna add your little finger, so that would be. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and then this riff. Oh, this is good stuff. We go like this. Like that, which I nearly messed up. But anyway, it's got a couple of little fills. Essentially, you play. with a few little variation in fills um, at the tail end of that second bar. So you've got three, five, and then open A. Okay, and then third fret to open. Okay, which you do uh, three times. So slowly. Then four, five, seven. Okay, and then the first time. That's the first fill. So slowly. And another open uh, low string for the last eighth note. Okay, so again. And then back around, okay? Second time. You go up to the tenth fret, okay? So rather than you've got the tenth fret, right? Um the third time. Little slide from the seventh fret. And then the fourth time is the same as the second. And then OK, 
Okay, there's a little variation there. So what happens is you go up to the um, F. And then for the last three bars, you're playing just eighth notes. And then back in, right? So um, that's the only other bit there that uh, you need to be aware of. And then uh, there's just this open. Which plays out before you go back around the whole lot again. And that is it. You are done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.